Can we do the easy calculator or no? You can. Hey, what's the first thing you're supposed to do? Uh, change the, change, the, change the decimals. Okay, you have a choice, really. You can move the decimals right now, or you can make it into a fraction right now. It honestly doesn't matter. What you do have to do, though, is make sure you have the appropriate number on the top and the bottom of your ratio. How many places do you have to move your decimal here? Two. One place is just going to move it here. That's not going to be good enough for me because I'm still going to have 31.5 on the bottom. I can't have any decimal anywhere in order for us to deal with these ratios appropriately. You guys with me? Yeah. So another place is going to give me the 315. However, greater, what do I have to put in there? Zero. Zero. So this translates to a 250 over 315. Raise your hand if you made it that far. Good deal. Now, you punch 250 fraction, 350, not divide, that'll give you decimal. But 250 fraction 315, and you press enter, and that will give you your ratio. Did anyone do that? Yeah. What'd you get? 50 over 63. Anybody else get 50 over 63? Yep. Yeah. Could you find it by hand? Sure, it's going to take you longer. So our ratio is 50 to 63. Now there's one more thing we got to talk about ratios. We're going to look at how to find a ratio between mixed numbers, which is kind of interesting. It's going to bring up some old stuff for us. Then we'll talk about rates. So last type of ratio we're going to deal with. How about if we do two and two thirds and 1 and 13 fifteenths. 2 and 2 thirds and 1 and 13 fifteenths. I'm sorry. I said and. I meant 2. Hey, first things first. Could you set that up as a fraction for, from, a, from this ratio? Yeah. What's going to go on the top? Um, the 2 and 2 thirds. 2 Over what? Okay, now stick with me. You guys are okay on that, right? Yeah. First thing goes on top, second thing goes on the bottom of our ratio. Now, wait a second. Do you guys notice that these are mixed numbers? Can you change them to improper fractions? Yes. 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 Let's do that. On the numerator, what's, up, what's that as an improper fraction, please? Eight thirds. You agree this is eight thirds, right? What's this one? Good. Hey, 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 look, look. Have you done that before? Yeah. Sure. You now have a fraction over a fraction. Fraction, what's this mean? Divide. Like main, main. Yeah, the main fraction bar means we're dividing. So 8 thirds divided by 28 fifteenths. Oh, this should be coming back to you. You just had a test on this. What are you going to do here? Flip it. Flip the first, the second, or both? The second one. The second one. So we're going to have 8 thirds times 15 over 28. Of course, now we're multiplying, and we can simplify it. Three goes in three one time into five, five times. Four. What goes into both those? Four. Two times and seven. You get ten to seven. So even if we have mixed numbers going into a ratio, we can still simplify that ratio a whole lot. This is ten to seven. Could you also write it back in this format? Yeah. Sure. This would be the same thing as ten to seven. 
or 10 to 7. It's a way to make our ratios look a whole lot better because if you walk up to someone and go, oh yeah, you're uh, 2 and 2 thirds to 1 and 13 15 so you're going to go, what? But if you go 10 to 7, they're like, oh yeah, okay, 10 of these parts to every 7 of those parts. That makes a whole lot more sense than doing it this way, doesn't it? Yeah. And so we can simplify our ratios a whole lot by just using a little bit of fraction knowledge. How many people feel okay with, with doing these so far? Good, I'm going to give you one on your own just like this one, practice it, then we'll move on to rates and you got it. So let's do, I'd like you to simplify this ratio, 2 and 5 eighths to 8 and 3 fourths. So again, remember we're writing that as a fraction first, then we're changing it to an improper fraction, and we're doing our division. Looks like we're about done. So if we're looking at a ratio like this one, we get some mixed numbers. Of course, the first thing we got to do is realize that this really does mean a fraction. We've got 2 and 5 eighths all over 8 and 3 fourths. Now, in order to do anything with mixed numbers, we really change them into improper. That's, that's our norm here. So we do 16, 17, 18, 18, 21 over 8 all over, what is that, 35? 35 over 4. Now we realize this is really just a division problem. This means 21 eighths divided by 35 over 4. Raise your hand you made it that far, folks. Good for you. you guys here? Yes? No? Yeah, all right. Next up, we go, okay, division problems, we've mastered that already. We're just going to do 21 over 8. We'll multiply after we reciprocate the second fraction. Of course, I have you make one problem out of that with a couple dots signifying you know that's multiplication. Then we simplify it. We're doing, looking at the 8 and the 4. 4 goes into that one time, and the 8 two times. And 7 goes into both those numbers, 3 times, 5 times. So we get 3 to 10. And if you'd like to, if your book asks you for it, you could also write this as 3 to 10. Would I guess screw up? Yeah. Oh no. So, or three to oh, ten. Oh, you can. I didn't. I didn't know you could. Uh, there was a number that went twenty. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys with me on the stuff here so far? Do you feel okay about ratios at least? So ratios, really, we're just comparing two numbers. That's it. Whether they're fractions or decimals, we now know how to deal with those decimals with the decimal place. We now know how to deal with those fractions, change them in improper, we're dividing. There's no units that are written, and we for sure can reduce them. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about are these rates. Now, 
Now I gotta tell you, rates and ratios are really, really similar. You can do everything with rates that you could do with ratios. Everything, we can reduce them, we can do all the same stuff. The only difference between them is where ratios compare two numbers with the same units. Feet to feet, inches to inches, gallons to gallons, dollars to dollars. Rates compare two different things, uh, sorry, two quantities with different units. For instance, like when you go into a grocery store, dollars per gallon, or dollars per pound, or miles per gallon, or miles per hour. You often hear that per in there, right? That signifies you're dealing with a rate. So rates, just like a ratio, you're still comparing two quantities, but now they have different units. So you tell me, what's the only difference between ratios and rates? Uh, different, the, un or the units. The units, that's it. In ratios, the units are the same, you don't have to write them. In rates, the units are different, and you do have to write them. You guys want another party? Uh oh. <laughs> we'll have a coffee party this time. You guys want to have a coffee party? I'm very excited about this. Some of you are just like, whatever. Yeah, we're not going to actually have a party. But let's say you did have a party. And you have this huge gathering of people. And these people love their coffee. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make nine gallons of coffee for every 50 people. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> they both really They're very love caffeinated them. people at this they party. They really love their coffee. You make nine gallons of coffee for every 50 people. Can you write that as a comparison? Can you write that as a rate, basically? Now, why can't we, why don't you tell me, why can't we compare these two numbers as a ratio? They're not the same units. But we're not even talking about the same thing, are we? Here we're talking about gallons of coffee. Here we're talking about people. Gallons and people aren't the same. Last time I checked, it'd be weird. So we can certainly compare this. If, we're, if we make nine gallons of coffee to every 50 people, let's write this as a, as a fraction. What's going to go on the top of our fraction? Uh, Nine what? Yeah. Good. You've got to show that because you, you now know how, you now need to show what you're talking about. Here we're talking about nine gallons, and we're talking about compared to how much? Fifty people. Fifty people. Now, typically, you only write these rates one way. You just write them as a fraction. Now, that's how we see them in, in real life. That's how we deal with them in real life. Ratios, yeah, you have these three ways to write them. With rates, we don't. We're just writing. A fraction with make sure you put those units and you're good to go. You can still simplify these things, but the units are definitely written. Okay, <clears throat> ready for another one? Sure. Let's say that you're driving down the road and you go uh, 